Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, today I have a compilation review to show you. Yes, another one! And yes, another wreath, you know, they're my favourites. And this one is on a canvas. And rather than having a white background, this one has this gorgeous, like, ombre effect background. It's like white in the middle and then it spreads out. But from this corner, we're going from like a purpley lilac colour through the middle of the uh, wreath and coming out at like a blue colour and a darker blue towards the edges and I do like that this is one that I wouldn't cut out and I will actually be framing so this came to me oh I've got a spare drill there just one that's escaped uh, this one was sent to me in a PR package from everydayedeals.com and I do have a 10% code for the discount on Everyday Edeals if you do want to check it out so I'll put details in the video for you so you can see that so yeah always worth checking out we all like getting money off yay and i just well i love all my wreaths but this is just so different and so pretty it's got like the greens in it um and then your browny green color these are actually like an olivey green color rather than brown but they look more brown now that they're on the canvas and um, we've got all our gorgeous little red berries for your holly leaves and then we've got these little flowers that are made up with little teardrops uh, that are purple with um, an iridescent coating on the top so you get your greens and blues and everything flashing in them and then your little white like pearl effect uh, teardrops all round a little clear crystal in the middle and then this gorgeous bow, which is pink and clear, and then this hot pink in the middle. And yeah, it just works so much. Seeing those colours before you put them all down together, you would think that is not going to work. But I think the bow is pulling from the sled, which we've got uh, a couple. Oh, gorgeous. Imagine being pulled through the snow on a horse-drawn sled that would be absolutely marvellous wouldn't it what a christmas present that would be to go somewhere snowy i'd love it to snow on christmas day <laughs> sorry if you're working or you don't like snow but uh, yeah i would love to have snow on christmas day but i'm just so pleased with how this has come out so it was one that i had to get done and um, we are a couple of days away from christmas day and it just had to be done it's actually a 35 centimetre by 35 centimetre canvas, which I believe then makes this 30 by 30. So it is a true, yep, 30 centimetre by 30 centimetre canvas, which is, oops, yeah, just under 12 inches, about 10 and, th uh, sorry, 11 and 3 quarter inches is at 12 centimetres at uh, 30 centimetres so yeah it's a true 30 by 30. Uh, what I was thinking of doing I've not fully made my mind up yet but I have got one of these frames um, that I got you put them together yourself this one didn't come with any spaces or anything uh, it is just four pieces of wood that slot together and then you put this over the top and you're literally stretching it over so that it uh, goes on and i believe i've got some tacks the last one that i did was um a panda that i did uh, oh quite a few unboxings and uh, sorry completion reviews ago uh, it could even have been during smashing the specials last year sometime uh, yes i've had this a long i've had this for a long time so you can pop it on and then it's a case of actually getting it all lined up and stretching it across so that you actually have it as a framed canvas and as I say with this one being a proper 30 by 30 canvas um then oops we're upside down aren't we <laughs> then yeah you do get the full effect um of it mm. Whether I'll do that or not, I'm not quite sure. Or whether I will just cut it out and put it into a 30 by 30 frame. The jury's out on it. Actually, I have got a 30 by 30 frame here. Oh no, is this 40 by 40? Ah, right. This is actually a 35 by 35 frame. Um, which I bought for some of my diamond paintings. 
think I got this from the works and it wasn't very expensive. Sorry about the shadows. Uh, it is very dark here again today. It seems to be my catchphrase these days, doesn't it? Sorry about the weather. <laughs> and it is actually one that you're supposed to put four different photographs in. But I just liked it, the fact that it is like a 30 by 30 frame. So you do need that little bit bigger picture to go in it. So you could cut that out, cut around your edges. And uh, I don't know whether the grey frame actually will go with that though. Let me just let me grab my bone folder. Oops, and just have a look and see what it looks like. It's my... <laughs> I've had this one a long time. They're like a, a paper scorer, what, called bone folders. I think originally they used to be made of bone, like letter open type things. Um, so let me just see if I can fold this as a crease along. They're just a little bit handier than using your fingers and a lot easier if you're scoring card. So I'll just give it a bit to the score down. That's uh, craftshoeprint.com. Uh, yeah, Crafty Bob. I've uh, been with them since 2008. My, design, my designs are still on that website. Uh, there are some videos floating around from uh, 2009, I think 2010, of me showing you some card making. Uh, yes, and I think I was the 100th video um, upload on Craft Shoe Print's website. And yes, I did make a mistake. And yes, uh, the owner of Craft Shoe Print, Naughty Boy, did put one of my bloopers in it. <laughs> he ought to come and see my YouTube videos now. They've all got bloopers in them. <laughs> okay, it just makes, you know, if it's already folded over, uh, it just makes it that little bit easier. Scarring a uh, little... My uh, straight lines aren't very straight, are they? Okay, let's just get that folded in slightly. So that just gives you options. There's always options when you're framing something and doing something. And uh, you're tuning into this to see a completion review, just to see Liz messing about with canvas and for it. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, so um, I've got to go out to the chemist again later on. Um, yes, Hubby has run out of one of his tablets. We ordered them over a week ago and I went to the chemist this morning and they haven't got any in stock. And I said, but look, we've been waiting over a week and they said, no, we haven't got any in stock. There's nothing we can do. We're getting a delivery this afternoon at four o'clock if you want to come back. We might have some in then. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do if I don't have any of his tablets. Because uh, obviously they've got my prescription. Uh, well, my hubby's prescription. So whether I can get it back off them and go chasing all the way around where we live. See if anybody else has got any. Oh, what a nightmare. Anyway. <laughs> So that would be the wooden frame, which as I say, by scoring it has made it that little bit easier if you're wanting to uh, stretch it and put it on. Yeah, just uh, gives you that again. The trouble is though, because you've got your printed edges, you do need to either cover them with something, paint them, take them off with nail varnish remover. Okay, or pop it in this just fold that over like that for now so that all you can see is the actual canvas Oops. Do, 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 do. Or I could put it it's very heavy actually this frame as well but it is yeah it's glass in it you see I do to be honest I do prefer perspex um, photograph frames and picture frames so then that would be in there just try and keep that down so yeah i don't know i don't think it really goes with mm, with the gray and white edges the marbling effect okay never mind so possibly it will be the frame that i use uh possibly not possibly i might just cut it out um, and put it on some foam board and pop it on the wall that way not made my mind up yet um, I could always put a board around it. Um, I have got my borders. 
Um, in here I've got like gold. Oh no, that would be too gary. Goodness me. Um, oh, silver. Mm, no, even that's not going to. All right, I've got this one. These are a little bit thick actually. Um, just have a look at this one. This, uh, Everyday E-Deals do sell these on the website as well. No, completely wrong colours. Completely wrong colours. So, yeah, it's just a case of looking and seeing and playing about. And, you know, I do like to play about. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one. Nope. I've got a silverish, like an AB coated one downstairs could use that that's the blue one that i've got left Very thin one nope so yeah it needs to be either to be honest the pink would probably lift it or even a green or a dark blue maybe i'll have to have a play about and i shall uh, let you know what i do uh, with it <laughs> it could take a while right so let's just have a quick look at the left over drills and see what we've got There wasn't many because there wasn't actually many colours on this one. So we've got specials, we've got the red. Uh, these are just standard, keep them in my little bag here. And green, uh, gold. That's like the greenest. It looks brown actually on the canvas, but it's like an olivey green colour, dark olive green. Oh, that's those. I love those. Look at those. Please, we've got some of those left. Uh, they're just my silver, they want to go in my silver jar, green, and my white, little teardrops there, and then the red. So they're all just standards and want to go in there. And these, oh, I've got a red one there. That one wants to go in with the reds before I tip these into my jar. Let me have a look, let me have a look. Yeah, it is a little bit late for this Christmas. Oh, I've got another jet bag there. Look, that I'm waiting to put in. Put them both in together. Uh, yeah, it is a little bit late to buy anything for Christmas for this year, but you can always get for next year. Um, and there are quite a few special offers on on the Christmas canvases if you go and have a look. So, yeah, you can always put them away. Um, if you're anything like me, you've probably got them put away anyway. Right, I've just been and grabbed. Oops, let me just put that in there. We'll just put this red gem in here. I think it's one that had escaped and I picked up off the floor and I couldn't have found my red large round, so I just put it in with the silvers <laughs> while I was trying to find it. So they will go in my specials. Right, so I have pink. Oh, no. But I do have this like multicolored um, border. Let me just have a look at this one. See what this looks like. Oh, possibly, possibly. Oh, I don't know. Possibly. What do we think? Mm, I don't know. I think it deadens it. I really think it deadens it. It's just too much, too much, even though it's got all different colours. So it's, uh, mm, I think this one's going to end up going on mount board, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, the pink's just, whoa, it's way out of line. Too many different colours there. And then that is just plain silver, which may have gone, but I say I've run out of plain silver, so I can't do that. Yeah, no, even that's not right. No, I think this is just going to have to stand out on its own and be its own picture because it is very, very pretty. Okay, well, huge thank you to Everyday E-Deals for uh, sending me this canvas to review for them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at it with me. If you have, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. 
any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you would like to come back and uh, see what i get up to next and join our little family you can do that by pressing the subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it so you won't miss any of my videos it's nothing sinister it just basically is like liking or subscribing or following um on youtube and instagram and everything so you don't get lots of spam emails or anything you don't have to pay anything uh yeah and it just helps me out and gets me jig 1000 subscribers on youtube okay well thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now